I saw I saw a movie this week. What did you see? I saw I don't know why I saw this movie. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh huh. I saw the Jungle Book. Oh wow. New Jungle now, Book. Now, all right. Okay. Live action. I was gonna take the kids to this, so I'm glad I can ask you now, as you saw it. Is it? It looks like it's just the cartoon movie. But it's like nothing has changed at all, besides the fact that it's live action. It basically is. Follows I didn't plot. know this going into it. The animals talk. Right. They straight up talk. Mowgli talks to the animals. It's him hanging out like, with the animals. With Baloo and all them. And they Agira. got like CG mouths. It goes through the same story. But I think the the original animation was based on a book. Sure. And this one's based on the same book. So it hits the same plot points of that book. Okay. Uh you're gonna you're gonna It it's cool and it sucks for both the same reason. You're going to go in there and it's going to be a live action adaptation of all these things you've seen in the cartoon. Right. And it's going to hit you with this nostalgia like, oh, dude, this is like the snake part. Oh, my God. Look at the eyes. Oh, they're hypnotizing Mowgli. And it's cool. But at the same time, no surprise. Yeah. You know exactly what's going to happen. Right. And and that's kind of the downfall of the movie. And um, did they sing? They do sing. Same songs? Same songs. Oh, Oh, really? really? That's cool. But but oh. it's not like the full song, and it's kind of like an updated live action take on it. Uh, but it's the same songs. Now this is the most important song to me was the Vultures song. Is that That's still in there? not in it. I knew it. I That's knew not it. in it. In fact, the Beatles reference. They. Uh, I think I read something that in this new one they were trying to talk to Paul and Ringo like being in it or something. Oh really? I mean that didn't work. They. This kind of thing. I don't know. I don't really know if that's mm. true. Uh, yeah, so actually, there's really like only two songs in there. Oh, okay. They're the really famous ones. Bare Necessities. Yeah, that's one of them. Okay. And then... Um, King Louis song? King Louis song, yeah. I, I loved that movie as a kid. I loved The Jungle So movie. you'll probably like this new one, but at the same time, you'll probably like me think it's a little long. It goes on too long. Mm. And at the end of the day, there's not really that much... They don't do really anything that special with right. it. So it's uh, pretty enjoyable. Goes a little long. No, nothing crazy, you know. Hmm. Little, the, I liked it. It passed the time, but after a while, like thinking about it a day later, the more I thought about it, the less interesting it was. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Yeah, it sounded like it existed to really. It wanted to be a crowd pleaser, and that maybe it was all it was. Hmm. Um, from just- you know what it tries. I feel like it tries too hard to be a crowd pleaser. That. It's so broad, and it goes for mm-hmm. this broad appeal that it never really hits you on any level very strong. Because yeah. I feel like, man, just go for it. Just like, there's cool moments in it, but the cool moments are like downplayed because you're reminded, like, oh yeah, this is a kids' movie. Like, right. man, this is kind of dark for a kids' movie. But on the other hand, they don't play it super dark. They kind of just gloss over the dark parts. Right. Good intention, you know. If you're a big, here's what I'll say: if you're a big fan of the Jungle Book. Check it out, and you will really enjoy how it, it recreates a classic movie pretty well for live action. But if you're expecting, like, Pirates of the Caribbean, for example, right. how they took that and it was, like, crazy and mm-hmm. new and really inspired, yeah. uh-uh, you ain't getting that. Because I was kind of curious when I saw the trailer. I'm like, oh, they must have just another take on The Jungle Book because the other one already exists and is still being seen by kids today, so else why make this movie? No. It's cashing in on the nostalgia of okay. that cartoon. Got definitely. It. Got it, got it. Okay, fair enough. It really sucks because I, I just feel like that's where Disney is right now. Like, they just... You know, nostalgia. that's kind of... That's kind of uh, they did everything. a remake of Cinderella, like, yeah. a few years yeah. ago. Did you see that? I did see that. Whoa. It was really bad. Well, there you go. That one was awful. Damn, that like, was even, even some of the things they're doing good. Like, I mean, I, I really like the Star Wars that they put out and... Stuff like that, but even that is still, they're kind of just acquiring and regurgitating. You know, like Disney doesn't mm-hmm. have a new hot, like, it's kind Zootopia of a bummer. Is the with, the empire thing. Yeah. They, with the Empire they have, they're, they're not really. I still you know, haven't gotten to Zootopia. Zootopia is a new thing. Yeah. I haven't seen it. I, didn't see I, mean, I tried to this weekend, actually, but it didn't make it. I don't know why I'm a sucker for all the live action. I keep expecting, like, another Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. They, 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 they made Pirates of the Caribbean once. Right, and I, the I other mean, ones yeah. weren't parts. I, I mean, saw Haunted yeah. Mansion. Thought yeah. it'd be badass. It wasn't. Saw I saw the sequel. sequels to Pirates of the Caribbean. They suck. I saw yeah. Cinderella. Now I've seen Jungle Book. I don't know why I'm a sucker for these live action Disney movies. Yeah, but because it got you once. What's yeah. that Mad Hatter one coming out? They did. 
Oh, yeah, they're making another Alice in Wonderland. Which yeah, I didn't Johnny see. Yeah, uh, that has Jerkoff. some of the worst artwork. I've ever, if you look any of the posters for this new movie, it's like they looked at the first ones and said, same thing, uglier. Mm. Like, <laughs> it is <laughs> just oh, him, God. the Timber, make it uglier. Like, yeah. Just, oh, God, More contorted Beetle faces mm. and stuff, you know. Mm-mm. Uh, uh, um, I watched, um, I saw The Hateful Eight and Django Unchained. I had not seen either of those movies. Wow. And I have decided that I just really enjoy Quentin Tarantino in that era. So keep doing that. Like the, the 1800s. Like I I thought both were great movies. Uh, I really liked them. I liked them both. For that, different reasons, I never though. saw Hateful Eight, but uh, I, I, was, I was surprised how much I liked Django Unchained. Django Unchained like, was great. I just great. put that on like, ah, whatever. But and you know I what? ended up sitting I think and watching if it. you walk into a movie knowing it's Quentin Tarantino, you know what kind of movie you're going to get. Yeah. And I I like that. Like I like... He gets away with things that I would get mad at for other directors doing. Like, all of a sudden, Jack White's playing in Hateful Eight. Or uh, the White Stripes are playing. And it's like, this makes no sense that this is being used right now. Mm-hmm. But like it's him, so I yeah. can just appreciate it and just move mm-hmm. on, you know? You I don't know, know what it reminds me of. It's like there's a it's like a high school band and they're the only band that's heard Nirvana and they're mm-hmm. kind of ripping off Nirvana yeah. and everybody says that they're a genius. And then Garrett, you're like the one guy being like, Haven't you ever fucking listened to Nirvana? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've watched I didn't see Hateful Eight, but with Django Unchained, I feel like I've seen so many spaghetti westerns that he has the luxury of cherry picking oh, oh, exactly. absolutely. cool stuff from like twenty years worth of awesome movies yes. that nobody has ever seen and right. he gets credit for all of it. Now I That's what Kill Bill was, just with I, the I, different, I completely yeah. agree with you. Movies. That's exactly what he I does. I still agree with you. But yeah, I don't think he's hiding the fact that he does that, like at he all. He does it better than any other director. Well, like, like, that's, that's his style. He gets away with it yeah. because it's like he re- he's he's going to the source that is so off of everybody's radar that he gets away yeah. with it. Yeah, absolutely. But I liked it. Hateful Eight. I it was really funny because I uh, loved I loved it, but it was shot in seventy millimeter, right? Like, yeah. And it was like you know a lot of effort was put in. Yeah, a lot of effort was put into that, but. It, a majority of it was just in a cabin, which I thought was... We- I was ready for it to be more like The Revenant, where it's all outdoors, all like, epic landscapes, and it was definitely not that. Mm-mm. But mm. I did really uh, think that the use of the wider screen was cool. You could see a lot in that cabin. Though, right, you could for- always see like other characters in the background doing yeah, their own thing. sitting at their own little tables right. in their own corner doing their own thing. And a lot of it was like very high tension that you want to see what everyone was doing at all times. Yeah. So I get that. It created that paranoia where you're like watching the corner of the screen to see you know what that character's doing. <laughs> right. And yeah. Vice versa. Before you know what's going on. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. I liked it. Um, yeah.